As part of the 2013 Summer Nights Track and Field Series, we're proud to present to you our coaching event demonstration series. We have the likes of Olympians Steve Scott, Tony Campbell, Wes Williams, and Tim Seaman to present special type of events and how to coach for those events or to run those events in the future. So we hope you jo join us and check out that series. Thank you very much. Welcome to another segment of Summer Nights Track and Field Training Sessions. My name is Tony Campbell, three-time Olympian in the 110 meter high hurdles, but also a former American record holder and world champion. So let's find out a little about the hurdles now. Let's have some fun. Are you ready? Let's go. The hurdles are probably my most favorite event of all track and field events. Well, in the high school level all the way up to the college level, there are several different levels of the hurdles, the height of the hurdles. In the women's hurdles, the low hurdles, the 400s, and also in the high school level, 300 hurdles, they're 30 inches tall. For the 100 hurdles, they're 33 inches tall. For the intermediate hurdles, which are 300 for high school and 400 meters all the way around the track, they're 36 inches tall for the boys. For the boys' high school hurdles, they're 39 inches tall. And of course, what I used to run, 42 inches tall. And you can see me being six foot three, they're quite the obstacle to, to go over. But for simplicity's sake, and a little bit, uh, because I'm a little older, we're gonna take them down a little bit today. What I wanna show you most importantly is what you need to think about if you're a hurdler. When you're a hurdler, you are actually a person who somebody keeps playing a dirty trick on. You're really just a sprinter that somebody keeps sticking these things in your way. If you learn to attack the hurdles with the aggression and the speed of a sprinter, you'll be far much better. The most important thing you must understand about the hurdles is you must acquire the proper technique. In the hurdles, you have several key components. Your lead leg, your trail leg, your lead leg arm, and your trail leg arm. When you're going over the hurdle, your lead leg must always come in with a bent knee extending out, extending out, and then it pulls over and down once again. Going into the hurdle, you must bend, extend, go over and through. Your trail leg, however, must be one of three forms. One form is the death nail of hurdling, but the other two are the most acceptable. Those being what's called a high attack, a low attack, and a sweep. The low attack is what we don't want. When we're talking about trail legs, let me move this around. When we're talking about trail legs, we're talking about, we're talking about the angle of the knee in relationship to the ankle. In this position, this is called a high attack. When we're talking about low attack, we're talking about ankle above the knee. This is the bad one. This is the one you don't want to ever do because it causes too much stress on your hip and on your knee and it's also very inefficient. The sweeping trail leg you most often see in the 300 and the 400 hurdles, and it's pretty much a neutral trail leg. It's flatter, it's more in plane, on, on plane with the hurdle and with the knee and the, and the trail leg are about the same distance. So when you're going over the hurdle, again, your lead leg is bent, it attacks, it goes over, and your trail leg follows. Here, there, there. Okay? So I come over in a running motion. Now if you're doing a low, uh, low attack, you'll see how much stress it causes on your body. If I go over it with a low attack, it causes a lot of stress. In fact, that even hurt me right there. But most importantly, you want to learn proper mechanics if you want to be the best hurdler can be. Now before, the last thing we'll say is what are the arms supposed to do? Well, here's the key. The more aggressive arms you have in hurdling and in sprinting, the better off and the faster you're gonna be. Learn the proper arm techniques. When going over the hurdles, your arms wanna to stick to as close to running technique as possible. 
by going over the hurdles, you extend out, come around, and your arm goes right back to where it was. Here's an example. If I'm going over the hurdle, I go arms here, come through, and I'm right back to running. That's what I want. One more time. Extend out, high attack, arms will go right back to running. If you do all these things, learn the proper mechanics, and just start becoming a sprinter, who somebody keeps playing a dirty trick on, you'll be a winner, and I'll see you in the next Olympics. Take care.